a special friend that you'll never uh, never have another one like him. Sheridan County Commissioner Nick Siddle's memories with Mike Leach span nearly 50 years to their time together at Cody High School in the 1970s. He was quite a practical joker and we kind of did some pranks together. They'll never forget this one. A friend who was uh, not much of a ladies man. So we uh, kind of set up a thing, we had it all the way up at the ski resort in Cody and and he was pretty disappointed when he figured out it was us and not the, a beautiful girl that he thought was going to be there. Leach spent most of the rest of his life helping people, especially kids. Leach's former Cody football coach and longtime mentor John McDougall said Leach's first coaching gig started in high school with the Cody 15-year-old all-star baseball team. Nobody wanted to coach the Cody kids. You know, they had those guys from Oregon and all over the country, you know, came in there for that tournament. And so Mike coached those kids. And he had the heavyweight out of town or shaking for at least a little while. He had a shadow infield. He'd throw up the imaginary ball and hit it to the third, you know, and he'd make a great catch and throw it to first and around the horn. And, and these teams from Oregon, you know, they're looking at those guys like, Jesus, what are we into? Leach always spoke fondly of the Cowboy State. This is a 2020 interview where a Mississippi State reporter asks him about the most interesting buildings he's ever been in. When I was a kid, we had one mansion in Sheridan, Wyoming, and it was the Kendrick Mansion. And it was quite a thrill to go take the tour of the Kendrick Mansion. I asked Siddle about a memory of Leach that'll stick out, and he said, easy. A road trip to Cook City during Leach's visit for the pair's 40th high school reunion in 2019. He had a rental car and Sharon, his wife said, well, Mike, you need to drive because you have the insurance. And he threw me the keys and he said, no, Nick's going to drive because he knows where we're going and he knows the country better. And if we wreck the car, Sharon, I'll just buy it, he said. <laughs> a unique solution for a unique man. Casey Conlon, MTN News.